Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the first replay of the week of the month of June. I'm your CNCHD and let's introduce those players. Here on the top left position we are looking at the orange colored Montenegro with his GLA Vanilla. And as his teammate we are looking at also a GLA Vanilla in the yellow color Unknown. So both players are GLA Vanilla and they are fighting against on the bottom side the blue colored prince with his USA laser general and as his teammate we have the, cre uh, the green colored nano with his USA vanilla alright so that's it for the player introducing let's go into this game so this play uh, map is really lost and really often played here online it has two supplies here to also gather from so two supplies for each player this is also often called unsafe supply here we have the safe supply and there are no no oil directs here on this map so all comes down comes comes down to um resource gathering by both of those teams and let's see what those uh, teams are going for in their build order so unknown is going for the unsafe supply also tunneling a lot here he is a terrorist and Montenegro is building up his base here at the left position and going for the safe supply it looks like also tunneling here the unsafe supply of his teammate and those terrorists are scouting the area here here's a worker trying to uh, establish a tunnel here on the right side this laser turret could uh, finished in time and shoot this terrorist now this terrorist is uh, still running ar uh, around here and Nano has his war factory and barracks so he is going for Humvees and Prince also going for Humvees and laser tanks really, really surprised to see this one here this laser tank is chasing a terrorist you don't want to do this and this terrorist exploded in front of this laser tank but this laser tank has such a tough armor that he uh, survived this and here's now going up a second tunnel from unknown and now prince sees this mess you now spotted it placing a beacon here because here's a technical by unknown so much trouble now here in prince's base here here's a technical driving around here in the base and um, evacuating some rpg troopers those, those rpg troopers Destroyed this Humvee technical is scrapping up, but no success you know, Those RPG troopers now destroying those Chinox. This is not very good for Prince, but he could save one Chinox here and Those laser tanks are try uh, try to drive over those RPG troopers, but no success here really and first laser tank is lost and the second one as well and almost this Humvee now here's some more RPG troopers cleaning up the base of Prince and now those Humvees could save the place here. Now four more technicals here on the way. Meanwhile here in the middle Montenegro is clearing the supply here in the middle, the unsafe supply of Nano. No, they are blue rangers, so the unsafe supply of Prince here actually and now driving directly into four Humvees and one ambulance this is the last thing you want to do as the GLA and he wisely retreat before he loses more units now those four testicles are gone don't know if there was a reinforcement here by unknown but Prince could hold this off successfully but his base looks pretty messed up here now we have a beacon here by Prince Saying to his uh, teammate, hey yo, what's up? Your Chinook is idle. All those um, quad cans and RPG troopers run into those Humvees. 
At first they were they, they were retreating, but now they got killed by those Humvees. Not very lucky. And here again another attack of unknown at Prince's base. And Prince has to watch it here right now with his laser tank that he is not getting destroyed by those two RPG troopers. And he is not careful enough and does this la laser tank is destroyed. Another Humvee is destroyed and now Nano is coming to help his teammate. Also spotting this mess here. Five GLA tunnels. This is a whole lot of GLA tunnels. If you have such a lot of tunnels in your base, this is not a good sign for you. Normally. And now Nano is cleaning up this mess here. Try to get rid of most of those tunnels. Without losing any Humvee here. This was really close here on this Humvee. Here on the left side we have three more quad cannons engaging the, ba uh, the base of Nano. But losing one quad cannon and is now forced to retreat. Meanwhile a lot of pop out here of unknown here. Directly in the middle of Prince's base. And Prince's base is not looking very good here. Now he plays the beacon here to say to his teammate here. Dude here's the tunnel. And I have a serious problem here, he's saying to his teammate, I guess. Because now his war factory is gone, he's, he has only two buildings left and a laser turret in the middle. And now losing all his Shinox, this is not very good for Prince. I uh, don't know, this Shinox could be saved, I'm wondering why. Those quad cans didn't put up good work against this Chinook, but they destroyed the whole base. Uh, but not this one reactor, but almost the complete base of Prince. Montenegro now is driving around here with eight quad... no, nine quad cans here in the middle of Nano's base and Nano only has four Humvees. But micro correctly and with the strategy center which is now gone. They can deal with those quad cans. But he needs to be very careful here by engaging those quad cans. Oh and here is the ATI missile strike. Try to destroy those quad cans but no success. And those quad cans now destroying the supply center here. And Nano has to rebuild this one. He is now putting up... Uh, putting out a crusader out of this war factory, another one. And those crusaders can deal with those quad cans. Now Nano is losing his power and meanwhile here on the right side, Prince is trying to establish his base again. He has some money left and he has the chance to rebuild. This is very good for the bottom team. Meanwhile the top team here has tunnels everywhere in the middle. And they have secured the middle here very well. Here's a lonely laser defense. They could destroy it very, very easily. Then they had this supply here as well. Here are some Humvees parking around, saving the teammate. Which is really good. Really good manner of Nano saving his teammate here. So he can rebuild. And what is the top team doing? Unknown has his palace up. He is now building rocket buggies and he really needs them. Because rocket buggies are very good against Humvees. You now this laser tank can get rid of the tunnel just in time. Surviving with only one health point. Unknown tried to re-establish this tunnel but no success. His worker get killed. Now here's a rebel here on the right side. Two rebels. I don't know what they are for. Two rebels are not enough to destroy a laser tank. Maybe just for scouting purposes this could be the point here. Uh, the case. And all this laser tank spotted those two rebels. Well done, General. You have reached a high and range. those rebels can spot this reactor. And now running directly into those forces. The scouting information was only enough for this reactor. And now Montenegro is establishing his own palace here. So both players now have their palace up. While, meanwhile, 
the bottom team is rebuilding their base, um, are rebuilding their base actually. And another wave of quad cans secured by three rocket buggies. If those rocket buggies are microed correctly, also those quad cans, this could be some serious problem for Nano, but instead those quad cans are just driving into their death. Meanwhile, the rocket buggies cannot engage on those Humvees because the Crusader was in the way. And now all quad cans are gone, and those rocket buggies need to put their feet into the hands and run away, like Forrest Gump, uh, like Forrest Gump did uh, sometimes. And two of the three rocket buggies could be saved. And now Nano is getting rid of those tunnels here near to his base, but there are still a lot of tunnels here left on the top middle. And really no engagement here by the USA players here on the top team. The whole pressure lies on the bottom team the whole game long. Oh, those rock buggies getting rid of this um, turret here. But getting shot by those Humvees uh, uh, and also losing here Jam Kel here to those Humvees. But one rocket buggy was only destroyed, but this Jam Kel was shot down, and this is not very good for the GLA. Well, he has to rebuild his Jam Kel, and the rocket buggy is getting chased by one ranger. And this ranger <laughs> is chasing around those rocket buggies, looks very funny. Six RPG troopers here running around. Try to destroy those um, Chinox. And where is the pressure going on? Where is the pressure? Ah, here on the left side we have some pressure here. It looks like Montenegro could deal some damage here on the left side. Maybe destroying some Chinox. Yeah, I guess he destroyed one Chinox here on this side. I don't know. And we have the hold the line strategy here by Prince. He is not going for the search and destroy, instead he is going for hold the line. Maybe to um, have a longer life on his laser tanks. And this Avenger ha had not a lucky day here. Got shot by those rocket buggies. Meanwhile, Nano is destroying those tunnels one by one, but those rocket buggies are not careful enough, and one is getting shot down but by those Humvees here. Meanwhile, here a lot of RPG troopers. You really don't want to drive into those, to those with only three laser tanks and one Avenger. Now this Avenger is moonwalking its way back to base. But those RPG troopers are still alive and they destroy, no not destroy, but hit this Chinook. Now chasing around those three laser tanks. Meanwhile we have big action here going on on the left side in Nano's base. Nano only has one Humvee here left and one Crusader. Those, uh, those rocket buggies dealt a lot of damage to those Humvees, but here are three more Humvees of Nano. Those were the Humvees um, he left in the base of his teammate. And now those Humvees surprisingly destroying all of the rocket buggies of Montenegro or Unknown. I don't know what the rocket, buggy, rocket buggies now were from. I guess those were the rocket buggies from Unknown. But losing all of them, not being careful enough here. And what? Wh why are those RPG troopers running away? They could have turned around. They could at least destroy one laser tank. Remember, those were f nine or ten RPG troopers, and they ran away from three laser tanks and two Avengers. Like two quad cannons are messing around here in the base of Nano. And now, uh, almost uh, really successful destroying this dozer here. And now Nano is now going on Chinox, uh, Chinox, Comanches. Also has some pilots here sitting around. And so he is now going on Comanches, maybe against those rocket buggies, which is a good decision. If those Chinox 
don't fly into quad cans. Also, we have now a Colonel Burton here of Prince. So Colonel Burton entered the battlefield and. What? Um, did you guys also see that this Colonel Burton entered in Avenger? Um, I'm, co I'm confused. I'm confused right now because this Colonel Burton is now a driver of an Avenger. Do not agree with this, but okay. Uh, Battle Bus is now messing around in the base of Prince, but those Comanches did a good job here at stopping this Battle Bus, only losing one Comanche. And now those laser tanks can destroy this Battle Bus easily because of those Avengers. They just pinpoint away, uh, pinpoint away those rockets. Pinpoint away, mm, now they do. Uh, now here another try of unknown establishing a tunnel here near to the middle Also having a quad can here shutting down uh, Shooting down this one Chinook, but those Humvees can deal easily with this quad can out What are those rocket buggies doing? They are just driving into those Humvees losing one losing two rocket buggies here and losing the third one here in the laser tanks that was a Miss Microt here. This was Miss Microt here by unknown. Losing all the free uh, rocket buggies. And here another free uh, rocket buggies. Losing one rocket buggy and a second one. Oh, here was also a fuel bomber destroying five quad cannons which were engaging the base of a nano. A nano really didn't had a lot here to defend the space so he wisely threw, uh, threw down a fuel bomb on those five quad cannons defending his base and now the leaf has turned and now this uh, the battlefield is looking good for the bottom team because they have now the upper hand rocket buggies are driving directly into those Humvees again but could destroy one Humvee and losing only one rocket buggy. Hmm, was worth the money, I guess. Here's another tunnel. And here's a large force of Prince now engaging the base of Unknown. This is the first action now after 70 minutes. Uh, 17 minutes. That the bottom team is engaging the top team and uh, their base. And it looks very good for the bottom team here because those troops are now dealing a lot of damage to those tunnels and those laser tanks do a lot of damage. Here are some more rocket buggies but losing one after the pop out here. Also here's a Colonel Burton. This time not driving around in an Avenger and here's also a Jam Kell. If this Jam Kell is... Uh, shooting this Colonel Burton, oh, he had the opportunity. But the player's attention what was not here to the to shoot down this Colonel Burton. And Jam Kell is enjoying this field here, and those Comanches didn't shoot on this Jam Kell. They were they were busy getting shot by those quad cans. And now Colonel Burton is going on a rampage here. But getting spotted by this radar van, but this radar van is driving directly into the Colonel Burton's uh, minigun or whatever he, he carries around with him. Chain gun or whatever. Losing this radar van. Also this GLA hole survived, so the black market is not gone uh, completely. And Jam Kel is sniping some of the units here successfully. This Humvee tried to spot this Jam Kel, but getting shot by this rocket bug is just in time. The spy drone were almost up. No, it was up. And this Jam Kel was in big danger. Oh, the rocket bug is driving directly into those laser tanks, losing one rocket buggy here. Meanwhile, Jam uh, Colonel Burton is enjoying 
his field trip in the base of unknown leaving some unknown demo traps here or bombs or whatever and his rocket buggy enjoying not anything here and getting shot by those Comanches. Also this Jarm Kel got shot by those Comanches, so those Comanches were a good choice by Nano. Rocket Buck is chasing around those Humvees, but the uh, Comanches again are very successful here. Uh, but not this time, but those Comanches are worth their money. Even if one got shot, shot down here, but it is worth the money to Comanche. Now the base of Unknown looks very messed up and Unknown also gave up here. So it's only Montenegro here right now. And Montenegro has to put up some really micro and macro of hell here to pull out a win. Because the bottom team has a lot of units still left and they will use it. They will use the uh, units. Here's one battle bus but I don't know if there are units in it and it doesn't look like it. And Montenegro is defeated right now and the bottom team which was 17 minutes under whole pressure the whole game long. Um, now pull out the win. Well played by both of those teams. And really well played here. Very entertaining match. I voted for the top team to be honest. Because the top team had... They had the right pressure on the bottom team. And they really did a great job. But then wasting all of the units into those Humvees and laser tanks. And this costs the top team the win. But anyway, this was the replay of the week, the first replay of the week of the month of June, submitted on gamereplays.org. If you want to see this replay, you can check the video description out. There is the link to the replay. And again, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a whoop on the replay. You can follow the link to the replay and there you can whoop it. It's really worth it. And it's a very good replay here. And yeah, this was your CCHD and peace out.